Hi, Cam team. Uh, one way chemists can identify an unknown compound is by looking at the basic ratio of elements within that compound. And we call this reduced ratio of elements uh, the compound's empirical formula. Uh, so some examples of empirical formulas. Uh, if we had the chemical uh, glucose, which is sugar, uh, which has a chemical formula of C6H12O6, uh, its empirical formula, uh, we'd notice that we can divide uh, each of these subscripts by six. And so the empirical formula would be uh, one carbon to two hydrogens to one oxygen. Another example, if we had uh, dinitrogen tetrafluoride, uh, we would notice that each of these subscripts is divisible by two, and so the empirical formula uh, would be one nitrogen uh, for every two fluorines. Uh, in last example, uh, if we had uh, cellulose uh, fiber, uh, we would notice that uh, C5H10O5, each subscript uh, divides by five. And so the empirical formula would be uh, one carbon to every two hydrogens to one oxygen. So the empirical formula has the same ratios as the chemical, it's just reduced. Uh, and the other thing to point out is that it's possible for two different chemicals to have the same empirical formula. Uh, for instance, glucose and cellulose are different chemicals, uh, but their ratio of elements is the same. And that's it. At this point, you guys have a couple of practice problems. We'll see you in class tomorrow.